Hello everybody, today I'm gonna explain the solution of the following problem. Given a positive integer n greater than 2, count all possible distinct binary strings of length n such that there are no three consecutive ones. Of course we can brute force this puzzle, but such a solution will be so bad that it will take more than 15 minutes for the case of 28 bits. So let's find something better. For simplicity I will call a binary sequence with three consecutive ones a bad sequence. And all other sequences will be good ones. Cn will be a number of good sequences of length n, Sn will be a number of bad ones with the same length. We are gonna start with n equal to 1 and we are gonna be watching what is going on as we are adding more and more bits. For n equal to 1 we have only two pretty short sequences. When adding a second binary digit, following happens. First of all, the number of possible combinations is doubled. The previously found sequences are duplicated, zeros are added to the first half of sequences, and ones are added to the second half. Take a look. We get first sequence with two consecutive ones. So, on a step n, we get the sequence of ones which was started on the step n minus 1. And on the step n minus 1, we had 2 to the power of n minus 2, which is only one sequence. Please note, even though the previous combinations were duplicated and each of them had once, only the second copy got an extra one. The first sequence got zero. Let's add one more digit, the third one. We can see the same pattern here. Previous combinations duplicated, half of them got zeros, another half got ones. And we got the first sequence with three consecutive ones. Even here we can see the consistent pattern, which gives us blue for a solution. The second half of the sequences begins with 1. We have 2 to the power of n minus 1 of them. The quarter of them begins with 2 consecutive ones. 2 to the power of n minus 2. And 1 8 of the sequences begins with 3 consecutive ones, which is 2 to the power of n minus 3. In other words, adding nth digit to the binary strings starting from the third digit gives us 2 to the power of n minus 3 byte sequences. We go further adding the fourth digit. You already know what will happen with the sequences. Please pay attention to the following. In the first half we can see the bad sequences which was found on the previous step. The zeros were added to them, but they are still the bad ones. The well known 2 to the power n minus 3 sequences again contain 3 or more consecutive ones. By the way, the bad sequences from the previous step are also amongst them, namely the one bad sequence at the very bottom. At this point, the number of byte sequences. At this point, the number of byte sequences equals to 2 to power of n minus 3 plus the byte sequences found on the previous step. You can probably guess that this is not the end. Five digits. One more improvement to our formula. In the upper half of the sequences that starts with one, we can see the byte sequences that were found the one step before the previous. There was one at that step. For the five digits, the number of byte sequences equals to 2 to the power n minus 3 plus the bad sequences found on the previous step and on the step before the previous one. It's time to suspect that the bad sequences that were found three steps before should be taken in account as well. For the case of five digits, there is no such sequences because three steps before we had only two digits sequences. So let's check the case with six digits. Well, yes, at this point the number of bad sequences of the length n is equal to 2 to the power n minus 3, plus the bad sequences from the previous step as well as the bad sequences from the step before previous, plus what was found three steps before. Surprisingly, there is no need to further improve our formula. Of course, you may suspect that we should take into account everything that was found four, five, even six steps before. But no, this is not the case. What was found four and more steps before is already included in two to the power n minus three bad sequences found at the step n. So we can relax and enjoy the final formula. Number of good sequences of the length n is equal to two to the power n minus the number of bad sequences of the same length. Now we can program our formula as is using the recursive function. And this solution will work two orders of magnitude faster than our first brute force code. But it is good only compared with the bad one. We need only a couple more digits and this solution will disappoint us for sure. Anyway, it's worth spending time to tweak our code and get rid of the recursion. Much better now. Thank you for your time. I hope it will be useful for you.